Hey all. Welcome back. Go back to Pokemon. This time it's actually Pokemon Gold and not Puzzle whatever it was that I played last time. Puzzle something? Welcome. Hey, welcome, Spicy Quok. <laughs> Thank you for the dance and dino. Such good emotes out there, man. Okay. Uh, I've been collecting Kurt's special Pokeballs, so I'm just gonna kick off. I forgot to actually do that today, so I'm just gonna start off uh, the stream with that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the good luck. Do I actually have any... Okay, I've got a green Agronite horn. That's a grown acorn right there. Apricorn. Yeah. That's... I've been making... Friend, wait, friend heavy lure and level balls are the only ones I care about. Yeah, we're gonna go get... We're gonna go get up on to that thing. Well, that's right. I thought we were gonna do ice paths, but we're actually... We gotta do the bug catching contest as well as... Oh, that's right. Because it's Thursday, I gotta do the bug catching contest and try to win another sunstone. So that's what we're doing first. Team Rocket can wait. We'll, we'll take care... We'll take care of Team Rocket in good time, you know? Uh... Conifer, you can, you can hang. Yeah, how you doing, Quokka? Cool how's, how's your week? How's your, how's your time been going? Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, a very busy week, yeah. Yeah, me too. What is it, what is it about March and April that have been just really busy? A lot of people I know are busy too, also. It occurs to me that, like, when Team Rocket has taken over Goldenrod, this is something I was thinking about before. Like, everybody's off the street, so it's actually the perfect time to do your, like, egg hatching and stuff, because you won't run into people, but anyway, yeah. Yeah, super busy this week. Like, everybody I know has been busy, too. It's... it's frickin' crazy. Oh, you got lots of snow? Yeah. I know some people up further north than me got snow, too. And I don't know what it's about, it's just, we got a lot of rain this week. It didn't get cold enough for snow. And... I'm happy to not be buried under snow, but I'm not happy that... I'm not happy that snow has become increasingly less common. You know, the rare times that it's still... The rare times that we still get snow that sticks, I feel... a little bit more reassured that the world isn't totally destroyed yet. Today is Thursday, which means the bug catching contest is on today. But let's forget about the world... and go catching bugs. It seems to me... It seems to me like pincer is the best you can get. So I'm really gonna only worry about catching... a pincer. Platypus catching contest? No, no. <laughs> you don't get... Don't remind me of the bad times. Platypus was catching cut. Oh, we don't get the- oh, we don't get the radio to- Ah, oh, whatever. I was hoping to turn on the radio and get the Pokemon March, but I guess we just- we just get the bicycle music. I know, but cat, Platypus catching contest was bad times, man. <laughs> Hunger Games has got nothing on the Platypus catching contest. Every Platypus out for themselves. Chaos in the streets. Uh, uh, but yeah. <laughs> I think this is the last time I need to do the bug catching, cause... We got a pincer, we got a scyther, we got a weedle. Anything else is catchable elsewhere. As long as I win this contest, as long as I get first place, I'll have the sunstone. The, the one other sunstone I need for to finish the Pokédex. Oh. 
Yeah, the, uh... <laughs> oh, Scyther. I may as well catch a Scyther, because that's, like, a good second choice. The, uh... uh... But I recently... I recently did my taxes, and I got a big return this year. I don't know how they get your taxes so wrong, but... It works out because I can kind of justify getting... I can kind of justify buying uh, a PS4 now. I know it's not like... Like, I know the tax return is like not... The tax refund is not like your... Um, isn't new money, really. But I'm going to spend it like it is. Because I wanted to finally get a PS4 so I can play um, The Last Guardian. Oh, there we go. A game that so many people made fun of and disliked. But one of these days I want to stream the Eco Trilogy, because I've only ever played Shadow of the Colossus. And, um, I would love to play both. Well, I'd love to play all three. But I'd love to finally play Eco, and... I got spoiled, unlike all of The Last Guardian, basically, by watching the game's done quick some years ago, and... I don't know, the ending made me cry. I want to I wanna actually play it. I want to actually play it and, like, befriend this strange dog... This strange, like, dog griffin. This manticore... This griffin manticore creature. Who, like a real dog, is very... Who's more like a cat in behavior. A very untrained, very poorly trained dog. And I basically know nothing about Eco. Except that um, the ending of Shadow of the Colossus implies that Eco takes place right after, or some years after those events. Oh, that wheel's a level 18. Hang on. Gotta try to catch this. We're gonna let this wheel back out into the wild if we, if we do end up using it to complete the contest, but holy crap. Yeah, but I'm very- so I'm very eager to get a PS, PS4. I just gotta figure out which one. I figure, like, a PS4 Pro is the best, and there's not actually much of a price difference. Even in, like... Even if I go to, like, a, a Walmart or a Best Buy and get a refurbished one, they're, like, $10 more. <laughs> they're, like, $10 more than PS4 Slim. Yeah, but look at that. This Weedle is not as rare as a Scyther, but it's way more levels higher, so I'm gonna stick with it. And, uh, if we find a pincer, I'll catch the pincer. Yeah, I don't know. If anybody has any advice... ...on, like, whether the PS4 is actually worth getting... ...or not, because money's not really an object. Compar comparing the price of all of them... ...doesn't really seem to matter to me. Like, what I'm more concerned about is, like... ...how difficult is it to homebrew to, like, jailbreak the different PS4s. Because it'd be great to just jailbreak them and install whatever games I want. Keep it offline. It's something I've been thinking about doing with my PS3, but... I'm a little nervous, because I know it's easy to brick a PS3. But, you know... It would be nice to have all of my games installed on the hard drive instead of having, like, because I don't have a lot of PS3 games, but they take up a little room. A little more room than I like. You know, I can maybe get some other PS3 games that are harder to find from, uh, alternate online distributors. Scythers out today. Pincer! There you are. There you are, my boy. It's only level 13. But I'm gonna catch it anyway. Because Pincer is so rare. I love how he's got both of his feet up, like he's in the middle of jumping at me. Ah, I'm gonna get you. Oh, the blind... 
It's binding me in his sleep. <laughs> yeah, he is very angry. How are you doing that? How are you doing that, Pinsir? Pinsir's sideways mouth always bugged me, but I guess it's kind of... That is very insect-like. I kind of wonder if there are any bugs that actually have the pin... They're like... That actually have pincer parts above their eyes like that. I've never thought about it, but it's it's weird, isn't it? His eyes are on his underside, but like the pincers that would normally go around the mouth parts are above his eyes. That's, that's a little odd. Yeah, we'll switch out pincer. A level 14 pincer would be perfect, so I'm gonna keep looking for a little bit more. I'm gonna give it like. Maybe I'll, ru like, run out the contest time. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I've just been getting, you know, I've been getting really into alternate online video game sources lately, and... Mostly with my Wii U, getting my Wii U full of games. Because... I learned recently, like, especially GameCube games. Like, that's why I was getting involved. I really got involved with my Wii U to get some GameCube games on there. Because... There are so many GameCube games that are apparently really expensive now. Like... People are scalping them at crazy insane prices. Like, I remember not too many years ago I picked up... I was collecting old GameCube games that I, like, used to have. Like... <laughs> like Star Wars The Clone Wars, the video game. And, um, Star Fox Assault and stuff like that. And, um... I don't know, like, in the last five years or so, maybe this is related to the pandemic. Uh, like, GameCube games have just gone way up in, in, in like, eBay prices and other places. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe people getting their games rated or whatever? Uh... It's ridiculous, I don't know, it's ridiculous, because there's, like, a lot of gatekeeping. And... So many games, like, Perfect... Not Perfect Darkness. Um, Eternal... Eternal Darkness, I think? The, like, mind-bending GameCube horror game has always been really expensive, because I think it was not... It was, like, not very successful, and so there weren't, aren't a lot of physical copies out there. But even more common games that I thought would be... Like, because they were not very successful, but widely produced, that they shouldn't be so expensive. They shouldn't be getting such a high price, but they are. And I'm like, man, I'm glad I already bought... I'm glad I already bought, you know, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee for, like, ten bucks, or whatever it was. Back in, like, 20... what, 2018, probably? Because that's a great game, but it's... I'm, I'm sure it's prohibitively expensive right now. You know, all the more reason to go for alternate online video game retailers, because... Any, like, any resellers of the physical copies are overcharging, and there's no, like, you know, Nintendo isn't offering Eternal Darkness anywhere. You're not going to be able to get that on Nintendo Direct. Uh, Nintendo, what is it called? Nintendo Online, whatever the thing is called. I'll give it a few more. Actually, I'm going to check what the time limit is. What time is it? Ten minutes left. No, I'm gonna give it like two more minutes. But, uh... Yeah. It's why I feel... It's why I feel pretty good about getting some flashcards. I have three now, now that I think about it. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I should get some more now that I have that... have that influx of... tax refund money. I could get some more flashcards. Because I have a N64 one, a Game Boy... Like, Game Boy slash Game Boy Color one, and a GBA one. But... Ooh, a new... Okay, are you a better pincer? Oh, you are a better pincer. Okay, we gotta catch you. This is it. This is the final pincer.
Hey, hey Kubo, please welcome. Yeah, I'm having a pretty good time. How about you? One more for good measure. No, I don't want to run. I miss miss press. Hmm, getting ready for bed? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good to get a good night's sleep. I've been not... I have not been going to sleep as early as I should lately. Oh, I woke up. Oh, I guess pincer binds with its pincers, doesn't it? I was about to say, like, what is pincer using to bind anyway? But, like, that makes sense. I guess some insects have, like... I think some insects have, like, a muscle or a locking mechanism that will, like, hold mandibles like that in place. Does that sound right? Or something about their musculature is designed that they need to use another muscle to open... to open their jaws. It feels like an ant thing. I feel like ants are able to kind of, like, lock in their mandibles, some of them. So I imagine that's what... I say that because I imagine that's what Pinsir is doing to still bind Mulan the second, even though he's asleep. Okay, cool. We got a higher level Pinsir. So I think he is going to be our contest winner. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> cut off the music. Aw, oh, Pinsir isn't so evil. He's just, a, he's just a critter. He doesn't know what he's doing. We will now judge the Pokemon you caught. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? Placing third was Bugcatcher Dash, a con Scyther. The scar was 332 points. Placing second was peak second. I worked really hard for that level 14 pincer. Who the heck won? 333 points. Oh, that was not as good a pincer as the last one I got. This bug catching contest winner is co trainer Nick, who caught a Butterfree. This Butterfree is better than a pincer? I haven't seen a single Butterfree in this whole thing. Win scar is 350 points. Uh, well, I got an Everstone, I guess. I could give that to. <laughs> it's Riggs contest. Uh, no, we're not gonna nickname Pincer. We're gonna release the Pincer back into the wild. Tiffany! Oh, that reminds- <laughs> For some reason, the name Tiffany always makes me think of, um... The Matrix Resurrection lately. If you know, you know. And I like the Matrix Resurrection, by the way, incidentally. I'm one of the- I'm one of the weirdos who actually likes it. Uh, okay, unnamed pincer. Be free, be free, my pincer. This is like releasing fish back into the water. Okay, um, oh, that's right. I need to put away Mulan. Mulan, thank you for your help in the bug catching contest. You did a really good job. And Conifer, we're gonna take you back out. I don't know, shark? So I could put the Everstone onto Lord to help keep her as a Cyndaquil, but I don't know how much I don't know how much the charcoal is doing. Isn't charcoal only like a 10% boost to damage? Let me check that. I like I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna handicap myself when I could be doing when I could be doing more, doing more damage. Here we go. I want to find the item. Uh, charcoal. Whoa. Serby's sprite is like oversized. It is 10% in Gen 2? Okay. Hmm. I'm going to take the hit in order to. This is like. But I'm going to keep the. I'm going to keep the charcoal in my inventory so that we can switch it out as soon as she is ready. This is gonna be like Rock Lee's training weights or something. 
I think of that specifically because I was watching somebody's video. What was his name? Uh, he's a guy, he's a YouTuber that I don't watch very often, but occasionally I've seen his stuff. Where he tried, he tried living for a few weeks with, or just a week, I think. Uh, with training weights, like, on his legs that were not as heavy. I think they calc somebody calculated how heavy Rock Lee's weights must have been, and he was like, well, that's insane, we can't, I can't put, like, 10,000 pounds on, on my leg. But he did put, a, like, a lot on and uh tried to try to like exercise like not do exercise for a week and like did like a little impromptu test so i have that on my mind i haven't watched naruto in a long time though i know rock lee is a fan favorite for good reason okay now we return to where i left off last stream uh do we fight the scientist guy we did the team rocket boss has locked himself in the director can open it He's up on the fifth floor. Please save him. Okay. What's this? We're going to music with host DJ Ben. Is that DJ Ben over there? The trainers, Pokemon, are their beloved partners, but it's terrible how Team Rocket is trying to control Pokemon. Yeah, it's like the plot of... It's like the plot of, uh, Monster Hunter stories. You plan the rescue of the director? That won't be possible, because I'm going to beat you! Oh shit, he's got a bat! <laughs> Rocket Grunt has got a bat! A metal bat! We can melt it with Lord's Fire. Oh wait, who did I have first? Oh, Rosencrantz. Yeah! Oh, that's right, we were gonna test out Rosencrantz. I, I put Rosencrantz first because I wanted him to, to have a moment to shine. But... Uh, Lord is the one- Lord and Conifer are the ones who need levels now. Oh, does he have a Zubat, Golbat, Crobat? That'd be pretty cool. Hey, Lord, I'm gonna put you first. I really like how symmetrical Golbat, Golbat sprite is, but it's also... It's also at an angle. They did a really good job with the perspective on these. Oh no! Okay, Lord, you can do it! The gold band, he's right there! You can break through the confusion! Oh, no, you can't. She doesn't have a lot of attack, so that's not too bad. Come on, Lord, you can do it! Work with the- work- work against the training weights! I forgot, do we still have a quick attack? I don't- I don't know if Lord ever learned quick attack. Oh, she did. Okay. Mm. I gotta just do an ember. Yeah, she broke out of confusion. Okay, good experience, good experience. Oh, nope, it's just a Grimer. Zubat. Golbat. Grimer. Oh. And the crowd goes mild. I feel like the Pokemon that have... that only have two shades of the same color end up looking the best in the sprite with this uh, four color limitation. Because like with Grimer, they can... Sh they can like do a little more detailed shading by doing two shades of a color. Oh, unbelievable. I don't believe it, I was beaten. The best part about rockets taking over the radio towers, we get to hear their whole theme. Well, most excellent, this radio tower will fulfill our grand design. <laughs> Scientist Rich. Oh, he's got a Porygon. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, we can switch to carry, because it'll, uh, it'll copy our, our, uh... It'll copy Lord's, um, type. Oh, never mind. It's not gonna do conversion one. Lord, hang in there! Oh, gosh. Okay, Lord. 
Uh, I think Emissive is a good choice. He's really tough. Yeah, shiny! The power of the shiny. Watch him get frozen. Oh, no. He didn't. Okay, bite! Give that Porygon a big old chomp. I kind of love how the dithering on Porygon looks a lot like Super Nintendo 3D. You know, like Star Fox with the Super Fex chip. Oh, I forgot Porygon knows Recover. Wow. Well, we're going to keep attacking with Stab Move. The one Stab Move. That has not flinched Porygon yet. That's interesting. Um, maybe I should confuse Ray. If Porygon does a recover again, then I'm going to confuse Ray. Oh, it flinched, finally. <laughs> Porygon is like a low-poly colorful platypus, really? I think like that's a stretch. Oh, transform to the fighting type. Oh. So conversion 2 picks... Conversion 2 picks and... Picks a type that you're weak to? Interesting. That's... <laughs> In your heart. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I... I see something different, but I won't... I won't debate you on it. Hmm, do you honestly believe you can stop Team Rocket? I should know better. I should lean into the platypus wherever it appears. Oh, this guy. Okay, hang on. We should, uh... Can I dig out of the radio tower? Rankney, get me out of here. Oh. Rackney's like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the nice, I don't want to ruin the nice tiled floors of the radio tower. The rocket, the rocket hideout is something different. Actually, what would Arachne's voice be like? She's like a spider, she'd be like wispy. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the tiles. The radio tower is such a nice place. Oh, that's right, I forgot we, uh, because they have the PC here, I can just deposit and pick up my Pokemon again. <laughs> They won't get their points back, but we can... We can just do this. I don't have to go all the way back to the center. Normally, I would be happy to dig our way out of... out of the hideouts. Out of the caves and the gym. Not today, Pete. Okay, Arachne, that's okay. Uh, that's right. Lord is the focus, so Lord goes first. Such a good tune for such bad guys. You, you came to rescue me? Is that what you were expecting? Wrong, I am an imposter. I pretended to be the real thing to prepare for our takeover. Do you want to know where we hit the real director? Sure, I'll tell you, but only if you can beat me. Oh, it's a fake out. I like this whole thing. This whole thing is really clever. Also, I forget if I... I feel like I gave the Rocket Executive a different voice at the at the hideout in Mahogany, and I don't remember what it was. Go get him, Lord! Uh-oh. Using, using my own attacks against me. Ah, uh, it didn't matter. I always love this the, like, little spinning flames for Flame Wheel. I thought that was really cool. Oh, wow, this guy's packing. He's got all... He's got a full... full six team. Full team six. Uh oh No, Lord, hang in there. Sludge is really strong. Oh, and she got poisoned. Okay, well, let's switch out to... Let's switch out to Arachne, who can resist... One of these days, Arachne's gonna know Psychic, and she'll be able to, like, actually... Oh, flippin' smokes... I was gonna say she'll be able to actually, uh... 
deal with that that crap. Deal with the poison Pokemon that she can that she can resist. Damn. Take that. Ooh. Super effective, but not all that strong. Does she not have a good oops. Does she not have good attack stat? Not pretty good. Just that Dig is only 60 power in this gen. Or something like that. I think it's 60. Wait. Well, hey! Got a level 4 lord. Level 4 lord. Yeah, come to think of it, the coughing only having two two tones here is a really good way to add like a little bit of shading to the smoke without making it look too dark. Oh man. If our Pokemon start missing more, I'm probably just gonna switch to Rosencrantz because he knows Swift. Oh no! That's why Arachne was such a good choice before, because she Half of the fight, she'll be underground. Conifer, ah, uh, No! <laughs> Conifer, I thought you were stronger! I'm sorry. Uh, who do we want? I guess Arachne. Dang it. Well, after this battle, we have to go back out. We have to go back outside anyway, so... Oh, he missed. Get out of there before he blows up! Man, it bums me out that Arachne is slower than a Weezing. I guess maybe I should hold on to the soft sand. As long as Arachne knows Dig, it'll be useful for her. And, um... Depending on what battle we're gonna do, I can switch out what she's using. <laughs> okay, Ragni, just do a sludge bomb. We need to knock him out. Oh, no! Oh, and we're gonna freaking... Nobody gets any experience for these battles. That's the worst part of self-destruct and explosion moves, is nobody gets any experience. Okay, well, let's get Lord out there so at least somebody will get experience points for the next one. The heck, man? Uh, Carrie could use some levels. I thought Arachne was going to manage to avoid the self-destruct. But I guess because she was always going second, that was like, she was kind of guaranteed to get blown up. She was guaranteed to get blown up because, like, after doing damage, the wheezing was going to be like, well, it's time for me to blow up now. Yeah, I should have switched to somebody who had better defense, I guess. I think Emissive has good defense, actually. Yeah, look at that, 81 and 93 special defense. But let's switch to Rose and Krantz, who will avoid the poison damage. Actually, I guess that's the other thing. I think if a Pokemon is low on health and it knows a self-destruct move, it'll use it if it also... If it also calculates that it'll knock you out with that move. So I think that's why we got explosion and self-destructed. Because the opponent Pokemon knew that it would get a one-hit kill. Oh, that was a crit fly. Wow. Okay. I'll tell you where he is. I forgot his voice for a second. 
We stashed the real director in the underground warehouse. It's at the far end of the underground. I doubt you'll get that far. Oh, that's it? I thought he was gonna run away. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's right. Yeah, look away until we uh, heal- get to the Pokemon Center to heal the poison. Oh, that was Mary in the other- across the way there. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think I can at least get Lord in here to, uh... I think this will at least heal her poison. Yep, status okay. And then let's put her in first. Just ordering everybody else in, uh, in terms of level. I want to say as long as we're fighting Team Rocket, Soft Sand makes more sense for Arachne. So I'm going to switch that out now. Because we might fight Magnemites. But mostly... A lot of poison types, as well as, like, Raticate and such. Put away the high potion too for now. This item box is such a mess. I don't know where anything is. There we go. I keep forgetting about... The item finder. I guess I should switch to that one a minute when we go into the uh, thing. Okay. Soft sand for a rank. I think there are leftovers in the underground. Uh, in this special area of the underground that we're about to go to. I wonder if these guys say anything different. I know my Pokemon type alignments, but I only use one type of Pokemon. Okay. Steel type? Oh, wait, where did I get the basement key from? Oh, he gave me the key, didn't he? Is that what happened? Uh. Okay, this puzzle always screws me over, and I, like, never get it right. And I forgot that Keith is here. Hold it. I saw you, so I tailed you. I don't need you underfoot while I take care of Team Rocket. Wait a second. You beat me before, didn't you? That was just a fluke, but I repay my debts. No. I don't think I've lost to Keith so far. Or did I lose to him once in Azalea? Well, he's only got five Pokemon. He hasn't filled out his team yet. Oh man, no wonder he... He only has a Golbat. He's not trading his team well enough. Uh... Okay, Lord, I'm gonna try and fight. Oh, of course he uses a Confused Ray right away. Lord, keep your eyes on the prize, Lord. That Golbat is huge. You can't miss him. He's right there. Just throw out the flame wheel. Yeah! Okay, that's not doing a lot. Uh, Carrie, you're gonna get out there and you're gonna spark this Golbat down. I think she'll resist flying moves? Yeah, because that electric typing... Water electric is such a weird type, but I really like it. I really like it as a combo. Is there like an electric eel Pokemon out there? I feel like there is. I feel like there must be. Hey, paralyzed. 
<laughs> now I can save power points and just use a water gun on you. I know there's like... Sharpedo is a dark water, I think. I don't know much else. Okay, Magnemite is perfect for, for Lord. I don't remember Keith. I don't remember your rival getting a Magnemite in these games. That seems like a, a move out of left field. But I guess it's supposed to force you to recognize the Steel type. Because I think he also gets like a Sneasel or something, doesn't he? So that there's a Dark type you have to recognize. Oh, for Alligator, he's already he's already he's already leveled up his uh, evolved his starter. Uh, and I'm gonna take no chances. I'm gonna get carry out there right away. Oh, look at that for alligator. He's very... T is that teal? Or turquoise? It's a very, like, dark... It's a very kind of green-red. Uh-oh. No, I thought for alligator was a slow Pokemon. It's not as slow as carry, apparently. Yeah, his rage is building, but I paralyzed ya. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, he didn't even get to attack. Wow. Carrie is wreck and shop. She doesn't need, she hasn't even reached her final form yet. Her her full power. That rain dance thunder combo is going to be deadly when she gets it. Right, I think either Arachne or Emissive will be good to fight Haunter if I have to switch out. Strategize. I gotta strategize over here. Oh, smart. <laughs> good job, Haunter. <laughs> Why is it that the ghost Pokemon always use Curse? Like... Maybe if you had an excess of health, that would be good? I don't know. I don't know, like, what is Haunter gonna do? Is it gonna Hypnosis? Oh, Shadow Ball. Wait, how does he know Shadow Ball? Did he also- f did he actually beat Morty? In Equitique? That was something I meant to do. I was gonna check- I was gonna go back, like, a few gyms. Like, a few gyms previous to my, like, the latest one that I did, and I was gonna check whether, um... Yeah, there's this news. I was gonna check whether Keith's name is on the plaques now. Ooh, you know what? Conifer. I remember. Sneasel is dark ice type. So Conifer's steel attack is actually going to be really strong. Iron Tail should do extra damage. Oh, wow. That's a crit? Okay. I think Fate Attack actually has a just a higher chance of crit than normal. Or no. Fate Attack is like, an, is like a guaranteed hit. But yeah, there we go. Good job, Conifer. Uh, headbutt him. As long as he doesn't crit you again, you'll be fine. Wow. How much... How much did that crit do? That crit did almost half of Conifer's health a minute ago, and now it did, like, nothing. I thought crit was only supposed to be two times damage. Am I wrong? Oh, Conifer wants to slam. No, slam is not good. Slam is just a, a body slam that misses more often. Why? Why do I lose? Look at him ready to mic drop his Pokeball. I've assembled the toughest Pokemon. I didn't ease up on the gas. So why do I lose? I don't know. I don't understand. Is that what Lance... Is what that Lance guy said true? That I don't treat Pokemon properly. Love. Trust. Are they really what I lack? Yeah, dude, your Golbat should have evolved by now if you love it. If it loves you back. Are they keeping me from winning? I... I just don't understand. But it's not going to end here. Not now, not because of this. I won't give up my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go heal up my Pokemon now. Even though it takes a long time. Oh wait, Arachne, you can dig out of here, can't you? 
Yeah, that's right, boss. I can dig right out of here for you. You can go back to the Pokemon Center. That's good. You're a good spider, Arachne. You did a good job. Also, I was sure. <laughs> I was not- I was- I was so thoroughly unprepared for Keith, I was sure I was gonna get knocked out there. But we didn't- we didn't get a single knockout. And that's really nice. Uh, oh, let's check on Lord's level again. She's 35. So in 11 more levels, she'll get her most powerful fire move. And then I'll allow her to finally evolve. She'll finally be able to take off the training weights, and they'll like cry like the Everstone will crash to the ground and kick up a bunch of smoke. I don't care if you lost, you sure be you're nothing but a victim. Uh-oh. <gasps> He's gonna put us in cement shoes. <laughs> Rocket Grunt Pony wants the battle. Oh, he's just got a Rattata. Maybe he's also keeping his Rattata from evolving so he'll learn Hyper Fang faster. Come to think of it, Super Fang is also a Rattata, Raticate unique move. Is Super Fang like the only- Oh, got burned! Gosh, oh, I'm gonna quick attack anyway. I wonder, is Super Fang the only move in the whole game that cuts your opponent's health in half? I feel like it is. Well, it's because his Rattata hates him, so it doesn't evolve on. Oh, must have ice in your veins to this team racket. Yeah, that's right. I got that ice from, from what's his name? From Price. Open one shutter, another closes. But you can't get where you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get where I want. Uh, this poor- the poor Rocket Pokémon. Rocket Pokémon just, like, can't get a break. Okay, Muk. I'm not taking any chances with Muk, I'm gonna switch out to somebody else. I'm gonna switch out to Arachne. Whoop, not a mess I'm gonna switch to Arachne. There you go. Oh, Muk is gonna do Minimize, isn't it? Dang it, I should've switched to Rosencrantz, I always forget. Even if he doesn't do it this move, he's gonna do it next move. I feel like I say it every episode, but I just love the dig animation. It's so it's so cute and quirky. It's like, wait, wait, wait. Psh, 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 psh. <laughs> it's like, it, like I don't know. It's very mischievous. It's like Bugs Bunny is digging a hole to, uh, to start tunneling to uh, to I don't know. He's trying to tunnel to California, and he takes a wrong turn at Albuquerque. It's always Albuquerque. I guess that was like a popular stop along train lines or something. It reminds me, I feel like there's this sort of... There's this trend in like a lot of modern humor to not... To make sort of, I think also random humor comes from... Childhoods of watching... Comedy where the jokes don't make sense because you're just a kid. <laughs> or a coyote digging a hole to trap the Roadrunner. Oh, yeah. Except that we're the Roadrunner. Or at least Arachne is the Roadrunner in this case. She's just eating up all the little, like, corn kernels in the dish. And then when the wheezing is about- when the muck is about to cramp pounce, she's, like, done and, it, and muck, like, slips on the tray and falls over. Dre, I was sunk by indecision. What indecision? I'm confused too. The switch on the end is the one to press first, but... Which end? This end or the, like, starting end? Quah! Confounded by the shutters, are we? I'll let you know it's a secret if you can beat me. Yeah. Oh. I remember as a kid watching stuff. Like, especially Looney Tunes, I think, had a lot of references that were out of date in reruns. It's so like, as a kid, you're watching all these weird Looney Tunes cartoons and all these, like, odd jokes, and it's like... It's in the context of humor, and so you laugh at them because they're just... I guess you laugh at them because of the absurdity of whatever he just said. Oh no! How did you know? 
Okay, survive, Lord. You can survive. Oh, she actually survived. Wow. I was convinced that she was going to get knocked out because the coughing... That must have been- that really must have been damage variants that saved Lord just there. Wow. There's no other explanation. Uh... I think Arachne is still my best chance for this. I want to get- I want to get Conifer out there, but I think he's just going to get knocked out. Like, Looney Tunes love... It's a funny thing, too. I think it's easy to think of... Oh, crit! Wow. Arachne's really... Arachne really loves me to be doing crits so much. <laughs> I know that's not how this game works. But... Oh, I blew it. That is how Pokemon Let's Go works, though. All right, a hint. Change the order. Switch it. That'll change the ways the shutters open and close. Okay. The first guy said this is the first switch. So I'm gonna try this one, and then the obvious one would be the second switch. So let's try the first switch. And then this one. Okay, everything is closed. Well, that's great. Because I, I, I want to say you have to switch them on and off in a, in a certain sequence. But I don't remember how. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna heal up everybody at the Pokemon Center before we go back in. Or wait, what am I doing? No, I should do that because Lord is almost knocked out. But yeah. It's like... I think it's like Looney Tunes and also like the Hanna-Barbera cartoons. I think those also inspired a generation of... absurdist humor. That doesn't make sense, like, well, specifically Lolso random humor. And now, we're in a generation where, like, the Lolso random stuff is simultaneously... ...mocked, and... ...kind of nostalgic, I think? And it's also, like, ironic to... ...make fun of it. If that makes sense. Okay, what if we just do... On... It opens with this. I guess I'll just fight the trainers that are made available. They ditched this project before they finished. I'm searching for leftover loot. I don't know, I just- I was thinking of Hanna-Barbera, you know, this guy's voice. Burgle Eddie wants the battle. Send on the growl live. Okay, fire... fire versus fire. Well, actually, Growl is probably gonna fight or do war or something. Because it wants to fight another Pokémon. No? Oh yeah, Quick Attack does a lot more damage. Uh-oh! Oh. oh. The heck? Takedown is like a 90 power move. That Growlithe doesn't have like any attack stat, I guess. Yeah. But I remember the days. I remember the days of the Badger song and the Waffle song. A lot of songs in the Walso random humor. Oh man, I was hoping that the coffin would get knocked out by the burn. That would have been perfect. It was like one hit point short of doing that. Oh, Swift! Yes. I'll take Swift over Smokescreen. I forgot that she learned Swift. Huh. How about that? How about that? Over the top. Over the top. Underground warehouse? What do you want to go there for? There's nothing down there. Warehouse? Their house. Their house. Why are you talking like that? Well, I thought we were all talking like that. 
I think Swift and Ember are technically going to be the same power with Lord because of the stab, but I put Swift up here. Because I like the I like to stagger the moves. You'll like my uh the young Frankenstein reference. It's very timely. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I never understood if the shutters if the shutters control certain like they, they interact with certain controls, I think. Like they control specific elements. Fork over your goodies. I am with boy. I am a boy glue. He's even. Boy glue Duncan wants the battle. Does he have like a G on his head, or is that supposed to be a swirl, like the swirls on his back? Huh. There's gotta be some cultural significance to the like. to the like bindle. to like green handkerchief with the swirls on it that burglars always use as like a bindle. You know what I mean? It's a very Japanese thing. But I have no idea why it's always a green bag with white swirls on it. I have to use magma. Okay, let's try swift on this magma. You've seen stars, cause Lord is a star. Oh man, I forgot Magmar knows poison moves. It's smog. Oh. Hmm. Arachne is a really risky choice for a Magmar, but I kind of want to use her. Okay, okay, Arachne. Let's see if you can hold up against a Magmar. I think Magmar is not that fast. Uh oh. Man. Of course I was going to use a fire punch. I thought it wouldn't use a fire move because it was still up against. Oh. Okay, never mind. Kara, you're up. <laughs> I thought it wasn't gonna use a fire move because it was still fighting. Because it was still fighting my fire Pokemon. Oh well. <laughs> I love how Surf cut out like everything except for one. Just the one like slowest. Moving vo uh, voice in the entire sh in the entire soundtrack. B D D D. All right, coughing. We knocked out the coughing with one flame wheel last time, and I think this one is even a lower level, so maybe we can get it without taking any poison damage. <laughs> All right. Moisey. 2024. You see that? It's 2024. Steal and sell. That's basic crime, bub. Okay, we're gonna use the antidote. Normally I wouldn't bother, but because I'm streaming, I carry around all these antidotes. Oh, it's a girl rocket. Gotta look out for the coil rocket. Um, I think she ha I think that switch actually opens up everything. Hey, Lord, we're gonna give you the Rage Candy Bar. Harness your rage! Uh, and I'm just not gonna use Arachne, I guess. Uh, and I'm gonna register the item finder. Okay. And you lost? No, you can't be. You don't have that scared look. I'll give you something to be scared about. There you go. She really is like a- the design really is like a cross between Jesse and, um... Uh, Ca Cass? Cassidy, I think? Is it Cassidy? Is the, like... It's Butch and Cassidy, right? Or the... They're like the season two... Uh, rival rockets. Oh, we almost knocked out that gloom. Oh, good grief. You'd not- don't you dare poison lord! Yeah. Get him, lord. 
Boy, this rocket is just doom and gloom, isn't she? Just gloom and gloom. <laughs> gloom doesn't even know what's going on, just like, oh, We've been trapped in this underground warehouse for days now. How could you? Only a thousand, that's all you got? That burglar had 20-24. Go wherever you'd like, get lost. See if I care. Little emergency. There you go. Time finder isn't responding, okay. <gasps> we got an item! Is it like behind the thief? No. Clue was heckin' zooted, yeah. Uh-huh. So it's gotta be right here. Ooh, a max potion? Wow. I gotta save that for the Elite Four. For, like, the return to the Elite Four. Oh, man, how do we get there? Uh... This is what's gonna take up all my time. Uh, let's see. Let's try switch one. Turn it off? Yeah. I thought emergency would open everything. No, that didn't do it. Hmm. Okay. Let's try switch one. I wonder if anybody finds some of these tracks grading. Because I like them. But I also have, uh... Let's say unusual music tastes. I'm the kind of person who actually likes the Dragon's Den music in this game. Hmm. No, it's not that. We turn off Switch 3 again. That closed everything. What a search two. Hmm, almost. I want to say three next. Nope, that's not it. Do do. This reminds me, I'll have to go back to the Ruins of Alf at some point. Oh man. Thought I almost had it. Well, let's try Switch 3 now. Maybe that'll do. Maybe that'll do what we need to do. I think what makes this puzzle so difficult is that you have to, like, keep going back. You can't view the entire area at once, so you can't immediately see what every Switch does. And you also can't move down far enough to see what the second row of doors looks like. Hmm. Oh, if I could just move this panel. Is that going to be switch two will move that? I think it'll also close the one entrance. Hmm. No, let's turn it back on. I think the way these switches work is that they turn on or off. Ah, <sighs> yeah, that's not it either. It's like, I think each of them will toggle certain components of the maze. And I'm so close. Because unless I'm mistaken... It's... it's not like... 
It's not like the current combination of switches, it's the... It's the order that you switch them on and off. Right? Okay, I think they're all off now. Uh, let's just do one, two, three. What does that look like? Gosh, it's almost, it's time for the midstream break. Okay. I'll try this combo, and if it doesn't work, then I'll just go on break, and I'll figure it out when we come back. Oh, that's still not it. The heck? Well, there's not an item here, though. Okay, well, let's find the item. Okay, it's in this... It's in that leftmost column somewhere. Bandit looking at it? Yes, he is. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. <laughs> quick midstream break. Uh, and when we come back, I will temporarily give up on the uh, on the puzzle here. I'll just I'll just reset the I'll just do the switches in the right order and proceed through the warehouse. And we'll eventually come back and get it. So don't go nowhere and enjoy the break music.
All right, welcome back. I could look up the solution to this, I realize, but I really don't want to. It should be a simple puzzle, so I kind of want to just... I want to just let it happen, and if it, uh... If I can do it, then I can do it. But for now... I'm gonna progress. I'm pretty sure this one was right. Oops. You must have ice in your veins. Ice, ice in your veins. You must have ice in your veins. So this team rocket, ice in your veins. Ice, ice in your veins. You must have ice in your veins. To this team rocket, rocket in a J. Right. I don't remember how big the warehouse area is. But I will check it for items. You're not going any farther. Don't. I don't show mercy to my enemies. Not even brats. Not even my own father. <laughs> Wait a minute. The captions thought I. The captions capitalized to brats. That's uh, funny. They capitalized it as if it was uh, the uh, trademarked line of toys of children's dolls with oversized heads. Uh-oh. Oh, Ranicate just did scary things. Well... Okay, Ranicate's gonna get the first move. Do you think... Do we think he's gonna knock us out in one go? I don't think so. Well, he only did it... Hang on. Why did you bother doing scary face if you were gonna do a quick attack? Man, these rockets are not very smart. There's some real Nimrods in Team Rocket. I guess that's staying true to type, though. There's a gold bat. Ooh, yeah. Forgot we got slowed. Golbat's probably pretty fast anyway. Lord, uh, the Golbat's fast, but you can hit him. Oh. Okay. I'm not taking any chances. Conifer knows Ice Punch, so. Ah, uh, Chompers. You go get him. You get him, Conifer. Rice punch isn't very strong, but it is a it is a punch. It's funny how bite is this like sc big scary bunch of sharp teeth, but leech life leech life has been abstracted to these like big, this like expanding circle of like tiny little circles instead of, you know, like, biting in and sucking out the blood or whatever it technically should be. Blast it. Blast it. I lost. Please forgive me, Giovanni. Well, my items are gonna fill up real quick, aren't they? Well, hey, there's the director. The radio, the radio center director, whatever. Oh, it's this guy. York, York, York. I remember you. You got me good at our hideout. Yep, I'm gonna get you good again. I'm gonna get you. Oh, Rocket Grunt Goofy is ready to fight. Uh, I'm gonna take a chance, actually, with a Grimer. Grimer can't be too tough. Even though they generally have good special things. Of course. Yeah, it didn't go up high enough. Just you got surrounded by a wheel of flame. That was not a lot. I'm gonna switch into Emissive, because I think he can take a self-destruct.
Oh, just a tackle. But yeah. I wish there was a stronger dark type move that a missive could learn, but I don't think there is. Uh oh. Come on, get him. I don't know if there is a dark move that's more than 60 power in this game. Maybe there is. You'll kill it? But what about now? Or what did he say? That was a blast. I'll remember you. Don't worry, miss, if I've got antidotes. Oops. I forgot it this guy. How did you get this far? I guess it can't be helped. I'll dispose of you. I was gonna I was gonna use the item finder again, but he got me like right as I stepped on the tile, I was gonna do it. Okay, Lord. Mmm. I think this coughing is gonna self-destruct. So let's switch. Let's see if Conifer can take it. I think he's gonna self-destruct because Lord is so long. Oh no, it's a split screen. Man. Man. Get him. Give him a head a hug with your head. Oh, there it goes. Dang it. I was hoping we would I was hoping we would flinch him. Headbutt doesn't flinch nearly as often as I need it to. <gasps> he survived! Once again, the damage variant saved Conifer. Or saved a Pokemon. I think it saved Lord last time. Wow. It's just like in Pokemon Let's Go. Conifer stuck it out so that you wouldn't be sad. Okay. Uh, Carrie? The fire truck's outside. Lord has been setting the whole town on fire. Oh, Yeah, got him in one. He disposed of me. You only got 1,000 on you? Team Rocket will keep going, waiting for the return of Giovanni. We'll do whatever it takes. Let me guess, does he have an item back here? No, oh, no item. Hello. Who, what? You came to rescue me? Thank you. The radio tower. What's happening there? Taken over by Team Rocket. Here, take this card key. Use that to open the shutters on third floor. I'm begging you for it to help. There's no telling what they'll do if they control the transmitter. They may be even be able to control Pokemon using a special signal. You're the only one I can count on. Please save the radio tower and all the Pokemon nationwide. See, I always like this sort of plot better than the later game plots where it's like... There's this big plot and everything. Oh, sleep talk. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'm going to use that. There's like this big plot. Um, that is bigger than yourself. It's like affecting the world, potentially. But it's not like insanely big and it's still... It's still relevant to you. You know, like some of... Like a lot of these latest games are like, you're not... They're not about you anymore. And I don't know. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, who... I almost tossed it. Well, you know what? Conifer doesn't have any good move, any good items, and neither does a missive, but Conifer... How about Conifer? You hold the amulet coin. I forgot we get that in, in here. Uh, yeah. I mean, not that every game has to be about the player character, but it just it feels a little weird. Actually, I guess the main thing... The main thing that bugs me more so is that it, it often doesn't have anything to do with your journey to become a Pokemon Master. You know? A lot of these, like, I don't know. But I haven't played a lot of Pokemon games. I haven't really played any Pokemon games since third generation. It's weird. I'm, of, I'm kind of of a mixed mind, because, like, I'm not sure what else you would do. Like, what kind of story you would tell. That isn't just, like, more of the same. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Good. 
put away all the, uh, like, really high-value items. Silly me. I thought we were going to the ice path this episode, this stream. But I think we're just clearing out Team Rocket today. Okay, Lord, Lord has gotten a lot of levels. I think I want to switch her out for, for the others for now. For, for, I just, I just closed my menu and I'm getting phone calls. It's me, Arnie. You want to battle? Okay. I'll be around Route 35. Okay. I'll roof bug catcher Arnie from my phone and hopefully I'll remember. Actually, what the heck happens if we call one of these people? I think was looking awesome. I managed to beat the Frowlith. See you later. Okay, yeah, nothing, nothing of consequence. Anyway. Oh, right. The radio tower's over here. Yeah, I hope I'll remember to go fight the bug catcher. Um, I guess we'll fight him after this. It'll be worth, like, a little bit of money and experience, I suppose. Uh, what? It's the card key slot. This is much better than the Sylph Company building in the last game. Why did the shutter roll? Did you have something to do with this? It's so silly. And he doesn't close it again. I guess he doesn't have a key card. Card key. Okay, get him, Conifer. Ooh, you're faster than Eradicate! With a level disadvantage, but still. Eradicates are fast. Wow! Conifer with the crits! Conifer out there with the crits! He's going long, folks. He's going big. Hugging with his head. Uh-oh. Stick in there, Conifer. You can survive a single self-destruct. With the power of alliteration. Hey, it worked. The power of alliteration worked. I'm done for. Oh, he's 2080. This guy's way in the future. What? You made it past the minute in the underground? How could you? How could you? No. I'm in the underground. Stop. I'm known as the Team Rocket Fortress. You're not taking another step. You're not taking another step. Oh, he's an executive. I gave him the wrong voice. Hmm. Conifer did not have a lot of health. Okay. Oh, it's level 36. This is a strong gold. Okay. How about Crobat? Go get him, Rosencrantz. Uh, we don't really have a good attack for him. I guess Swift. Oh wait, flying types don't resist flying. Duh. This is the biggest fight of your life, Frozen Krantz. Oh crap. Fly. You gotta get- you gotta knock him out with this one move. You gotta, because otherwise he's gonna hit you with whatever he hits it with. Come on, Rosen Krantz. Yeah, barely- oh, barely. I was taking a huge risk with that. Conifer got a level. So now I can switch out Conifer for, uh, carry it. Oh, the vultures came down. <laughs> He's got, like, smarmy voice. You've earned my respect, so here's some advice. It's not too late. Or maybe I should have kept that voice. That was kind of fun. Fun one. The fort. The fortress. You ain't gonna take another step. You ain't gonna take another step. Uh. Don't I think Pokemon are cute? That's not right. Wait. Uh. I think my Pokemon are cute after they beat yours. I'm gonna show up for Mr. G. When Mr. G comes back and revives Team Rocket, you're not gonna stand a chance. Mm 
Uh oh. Dang. I was a little too confident on getting a one hit with that. There are items to boost water and electric attacks, aren't there? Remember, remember remembering that correctly? Pretty sure there are. I don't know where you get them, though. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? With all that poison powder, let's just go to a rank. Boo boo doo boo. Ooh, yeah. That would have been really annoying to deal with. Here, take a sludge bomb. Sludge bam. We don't get to use this move very much. So I'm just taking a, uh, ooh, a crit. Wait, is Oddish not a poison type? I thought it was. Um, I know what Arachne needs some points. Let's keep Arachne out. <laughs> there she goes, just digging a hole. Gloon is definitely part poison. I'm like... Although, I guess a poison move would be double against grass and half against poison, so it'd be neutral. I guess it wouldn't be bad to use Sludge Bomb. Screw it, I'm gonna use Leech Life just for the heck of it. My chair's really creepy. I'm just changing my seating position. It's making all this noise. Hey, nice round 30. Level 30. Oh no, this is so useless. He's so useless. I love my beautiful self. Who cares about Pokemon? Oh, I love Meowth. This is Mary from the radio show. Why? Why do I have to suffer through this? <laughs> Meowth, help me. Gosh. Is the idea that Mary's, like, kind of self-centered? Uh, self-centered radio host? That's the vibe I'm getting. What floor is this? Studio One. Uh, hello? Oh, she won't walk forward because she would block you. <laughs> She's an executive, so she had that. I gave her a different voice. Hi, little boy. Remember me from the hideout in Mahogany Town? I lost then, but I won't this time. You won't catch me slacking off. Oh, madam. Oh, Charbuck. Just throw the ocean. Just throw the ocean at her, Carrie. Just do it. Just hit the whole, the whole ocean surf. Uh, almost. Oh, that was a crit. Ooh, we go first. It's like quick claw paying off. Hmm, vile plume. Uh. Uh, let's just get Lord in there, why not? Yeah. My plume always looks so happy. And cute. I feel kind of bad. Burning it to a crisp. And they also managed to, like, use... Because the body is so dark already, they can use black for shading. Haha, -ha, sweet scent didn't work. I still don't understand what sweet scent is supposed to do in a battle. 
Hmm. Well, yeah, it occurs to me, maybe it's just because we've been flying around so much, but we haven't seen any of the legendary dogs yet. You notice that? I feel like we would have seen them by now. I guess not. Ooh, Murkrow's fast. Oh. Wow, that wasn't even a crit. Terry's just that strong. This can't be happening. I fought hard, but I still lost. Oh, 2304. She's really far in the future. <laughs> Holy crap. Pete, isn't it? A brat like you won't appreciate the magnificence of Team Rocket. That's too bad. I really admire your power. Whoops. Uh, oh, you managed to get this far. You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio station and announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solo training. We are going to regain our former glory. I won't allow you to interfere with our plans. I want to put an exclamation mark at the end of that, but sure. I guess this guy is calm and collected. I'm going to send out Houndour. Ooh. That's the first Houndour we've seen the whole game. Goodbye. The like, the like kind of bone-like stuff on the outside of Houndour and Houndoom was always very, was always pretty cool. Although it kind of looks like he's got a mask. He's got a mask like up on his forehead. Oh, he's gone now. And also, the sprite coloring makes it look like he's being lit from below. Like he's got, like, the fiery... The fiery depths of... Of fire... The fire and brimstone blading up from the depths. Something like that. Oh yeah, Surf is also using the that funky... Like, Game Boy... Uh, Game Boy rendering trick. Uh, it's some kind of, like, rendering offset. That gives the effect of, like, stretching and distorting the screen. Okay, Carrie, I think you can just- I think you can just sweep this guy. Yo, Houndoom! He's gonna be fast, though. Hang in there, Carrie, and don't flinch! Yeah. <laughs> I love that Houndoom has, like, the spiked tail. He's got the curved horns. He's like blowing a little fire out of his mouth. Uh, gosh, I mean, emissive, I guess. Let's send you out there. You're strong. You can take a hit from a fire move. Or a dark move, for that matter. Yeah. Uh oh. Don't you dare poison emissive. Oh wait, poison is strong against dark, isn't it? Maybe... No, it's not. Why did I... Oh, poison is strong against fairy. That's right. It's not really relevant to, uh... To this generation. <laughs> okay, do a quick attack. Get in there. Just, bam, just knock him out real quick. Yeah! That was close. Uh, no, forgive me, Giovanni. 25, 20, he's the farthest in the future, this guy. How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I wasn't up to the task after all. Like Giovanni did before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. Oh wow, it gave up real easy. I only had to defeat them like three times. Pete, thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon nationwide. I know it's not much. Please take this. Oh, that is a lot. The Rainbow Wing. We can go get Ho-Oh. There used to be a tower right here in Goldenrod City, but it was old and creaky, so we replaced it with our radio tower. During the teardown, we found that at the top. I heard that giant Pokemon used to fly over Goldenrod in the past. Maybe that fell off a Pokemon. Maybe like the one that appears at Tin Tower in Echo Cheek City. Wink, nudge. Maybe you should go to the Tin Tower with that Rainbow Wing to 
find this strange giant flying Pokemon that I hear is in Tin Tower in Ekujik City and has a rainbow wing. Okay, I'd better go to my office. I have much work to do, you see. Oh, oops, I forgot about antidote. Antidotes. Uh, no, I'm not Arachne. I misclicked. I'm gonna blame the wireless connection for my wa wave burn. We can take over the radio. Hey, hey, hey! This is Vladipede in the middle of the day, bringing you all the hottest hits, the biggest, the the cleverest Pokemon training tips. Tip number one of the day. Most Pokemon learn their moves really, really slow at their top evolution, so keep those suckers from evolving until they learn their good moves. That's today's Pokemon training tip from your boy, Platypete. Signing off. Okay, now we gotta talk to Mary because she's got a TM for us. Oh, you're my little savior. What do you take this as thanks? Oh, pink bow. Never mind. <laughs> it's a it's a normal item. It's just right for Pokemon that know normal type moves. Yeah, it is. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. What are you holding right now, Conifer? Oh, the amulet coin. Okay. Um, we can give a miss of the amulet coin. Or actually, wait. Let's give, uh... Emissive has, like, two normal moves, so let's give Emissive the, um, the bow. He can have the pink bow and get a little bit of extra damage from that. And then Arachne, we can give you a poison barb again. Until, uh, such time as it makes sense to, uh, give you the other thing. Okay. You know what? I'll probably end up having Lord in the first spot soon, cause uh, uh, cause we're going to the Ice Path soon. I don't know why my brain blanked on that. <laughs> we're gonna be fighting Ice Pokemon soon. Feel free to look around anywhere. The director is nice again, just as he was before. Yeah, funny. It, yeah, not like it, he didn't get replaced by an imposter or anything. He's just being nice before. He's be, he's just nice. He's changed back to being nice. Oh yeah, let's check the lottery real quick. Take out Shucky and move on the second to get the maximum chance of winning the lottery. Well, I guess the best chance you could get is if you have six Pokemon, each of which is a different number. It's 39270. You could probably also save scum to get like more varied IDs. Nope, none of my ID numbers match. You could like, probably save Scum to get like a good ID and then trade a Pokemon over. I wonder if people do that. That sounds like way too much work. to Mahogany, and we can finally start our journey toward the Ice Path. I'll get Ho-Oh later. I feel like I should make a an event out of getting the legendary birds. The legendary, like, second generation birds. Like, I might even wait really late for that. Oh, what's this? Visit Grandma's shop. She sells stuff that nobody else has. Oh, does she, does she sell the, like, really nasty stuff? Oh, no. Well, so that's not true. She might have the flower print mail, but everything... Uh, we already have these. Uh, I've seen these elsewhere. 
What's on the radio? Folks, Pokemon talk. Oops. I didn't think I would get locked into this. With me, Mayor. Drowsy. Z, Z, Z. Drow, drow, drow. Wait, who, who's in this house? I don't remember going here. I heard the Red Gyarados. Here at the lake. Yep. It's the introduction of shiny Pokemon. Tiffany! Huh, Pete? Oops, my... Whoa, wait, what? We got a wrong number. That's never happened before. Oh, I forgot to fight the bug... Uh, bug catcher. Let's do that. Where's Route 35? Oh, it's there. Oh, we gotta go all the way back to Goldenrod. <laughs> Oops. Whoopsie. 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 That's nuts. I've never gotten... I've never had somebody call a wrong number. Isn't it like... And they specifically picked one of the girl trainers to do it. I wonder if that's a joke, like... Like, uh... Oh, she didn't give you her number because she likes you or anything, so... She, she literally just wants to, like, talk to you about Pokemon she's encountered in. To challenge you to rematches. Like, she has other people to call. Other, other people she likes better. Oh, come on. I'm right there. I should have turned on the... Now that the radio's back, I should have turned it on to the Lullaby channel. Oh, I realize. I wonder, have I been getting so much more money when Conifer was in battle because of the emulate coin? Or does Conifer have to win the battle? Maybe that's it. Ooh, one hit. You gotta train a little bit harder, Bugcatcher, whatever your name was, Arnie. <laughs> I see, so you battle that way. Uh, come on, I'm... Oh, useful item shopping. Okay. Then your PC. Okay, ready to peep? Registered Arnie's number. Okay. Actually, let's go... Let's go home. I want to see if this is the item. If mom just bought us the item, I think she did. I don't think it is, but I'm going to check. I'm, I keep losing the uh, wave break signal. I think it's because, like, my PC... There's, like, my, my PC tower, the um, PS3, and, like, some video games are in between the... are in between the controller and the, and the thing in the actual GameCube. So there's a lot of potential interference here. Ooh, I think it is. Oh, the time map is already up. Charmander doll. Wait, what did she buy with her money? I looked at the, I looked at the bottom of the list and there's nothing in there. Maybe it's something we already had. She bought like another super potion. I don't know. And she definitely bought a Moonstone one time. I can't believe I never put the Charmander doll out. It's a, it's an adorable Charmander doll. Sorry, I don't remember. I don't remember that. The player character. I gave the player character voice a uh, Midwestern, Midwestern sound. It's Charmander doll. Okay, there are a bunch of trainers on the way over here. Uh, but I want to see what this berry tree is. Oh, burnt berry? That's the first one. Does that heal freezing? I forget. Because I think there's like an ice berry that heals burns. I'm gonna win for sure. What's the psychic? Psychic Phil. Is that what Dr. Phil does now? Is that his new show? Psychic Phil. He's got a new grift. Oh, right, Shadow Ball. Not to his part psychic, right? Yeah, super effective. I know my Pokemans. This is the first Natu we've ever seen, though. <laughs> oh, gosh. Conifer is such a, like, such a nice choice to fight psychics because they don't have a type advantage. And he's fast.
I guess emissive should be a good choice too, but whatever. Arrgh, that's a shocking loss. I want more money. Oh, what is it, Mom? Well, shocking, I saw this adorable doll, so I bought it with your money. Well... Really? It's important to have conviction on your side. We, like, just got... We just got a new item and now a doll? Well, I mean, we gotta go back. Because this is it. I think this is the final item that she buys you. Unless I'm mistaken. It's so weird. I I thought for sure that it would be a long time before we got another thing. Oops. No, not the mailbox. Decoration. Silly. Ornament. Oh, uh, Clefairy doll. Okay, never mind. Oops. I want to put them both out. No. Ah, uh, freaking... It does the, like... It does the, like, learning a new move thing, where you click, where you, like, expect to have to click the next, um... To click away the dialogue box, but you, you aren't supposed to yet, so I keep accidentally clicking. It's an adorable... It's an adorable Clefairy doll. Don't you know? Okay. <laughs> now we can proceed on our adventure. Oh yeah, as a fisher guy. I fish until I can't fish anymore. I also battle until I drop. That's my relationship with my Pokemon. Wow, that's pretty mean. You make your Pokemon fight until they drop. Fisher Edgar. With a D. Actually, I guess that is how you spell Edgar. What? Why does it look weird? Something about... Maybe it's because it's in all caps. I'm used to seeing, like, a lowercase g dangle below the D, you know? Kind of wish I hadn't said that. But hey, look at look at Remoraid! Look at Remoraid's sprite! Isn't that funky looking? Remoraid looks terrified. Or... furious. This is right. Oh, I forgot. When you beat trainers, they only come like most of the way back onto screen. They don't go. They don't go all the way back to their starting point. That's funny. Huh. That's a hundred wins, hundred one losses. Won't battle again for a while. Oh, all right. I thought he might give us his number. I think there are some Pokemon you can only catch in this grass. Dang, Max Revive is very good. Holy crap! Holy. Like a bell sprout. Wow, it's a bell sprout. No. Well, actually, eh, uh, no. Bell sprout has like special attack. I think we're not really using that on conifer. There's a weeping bell. Oh, look at that weeping bell. I kind of don't like that you can see part of the inside of its mouth like that. That feels wrong. Oh, dang. Conifer's Ice Punch is pretty decent, sometimes. Sometimes the, the opponent, like, just really resists it, though. Okay, I like that. I like that we all have, um... Where our, our, all of our levels are in the 30s now. Although I feel like there might be... Oh, man. Is there... There's, like, a hidden item in there, isn't there? I'll do anything to get my hands on rare Pokémon. Rare Pokémon? Guys, Jesus, Pokemonic as Zack. Yo, Rhyhorn. A really good Pokemon to Ice Punch. Or actually, Iron Tail. That would have been better. I forgot. Iron Tail is good against. Uh, steel moves are good against rock. Oh, well. I guess it's doubly effective because it's ice. <laughs> that was really fast. <laughs> oh, your Pokemon are so appealing. Well, we got 3,000 Pokemon from this guy. A Pokemon has different colors from usual, it's more valuable. What? You mean that's not true? Yes, it is. Why would the player character say that? <laughs> say that's not true. That's absolutely true. Shinies are super valuable. But there you go, the first acknowledgement of shiny Pokemon that's not Red Gyarados in the playthrough so far. I wonder if anybody else will say anything about shinies. Okay, wait. I want to see... Hang on. Am I 
right here. Is there is there potentially a hidden item in here? There is. I should I should really just register it. Oh, where is it? It's probably next to the other one. This is such a small area, I'll just comb around for it. You know what, I may as well fight these bell sprouts and weeping bells, because they give decent experience, I think. At this level. And their special defense should be okay to, to boost Connor for stuff. Oh hey, an elixir. Yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna bother with the boot with the bell sprouts and the weeping bells. You look strong. Good trainers seek tough opponents instinctively. Oh, is she a cool trainer? That's something a cool trainer would say. Oh, she is a cool trainer. Cool trainer Sybil. Oh, it's Sybil Shepherd of m Moonlighting fame. Is it wait? Is it Moonlighting or Moonlighters? I always forget. I'm gonna ice punch your butter free. Sub Zero Ice Punch. Uh oh. Don't get confused, Conifer. It's not actually Civil Shepherd, I was just making a joke. Civil Shepherd has been a lot of stuff, actually. More recently, you might know her. Well, actually, probably not even. I was gonna say, more recently, she did Psych as, um, Sean's mom. But I don't know if anybody remembers Psych all that well these days. Hmm, Blossom takes a... Take a punch. Let's try Headbutt. Yeah, knocked her out. And Conover has 75 speed. This won't work at all. So much money. Okay. I'm gonna save real quick just for my own sanity. We all get better at experiencing many battles. I battle a lot to become what I am today, an elite. No, you're not. You're here, you're not at Indigo Plateau. I know, I, that's where the elites are. There are only four of them. I can tell you're a good trainer by looking at you. I'm good at Pokemon, and I can see that you are too. Cool. Oh, cool trainer boy, Alan. Cool trainer Alan. Alan. Oh, it's Charmeleon doing a cool pose. <laughs> you should be riding a skateboard. I want to put that Charmeleon on the skateboard. Dun -dun. Or maybe catching... Well, a, a Charmeleon... I'm pretty sure a Charmeleon would never go um, surfing. It could almost be like he's catching... He's catching waves. Oh, what? We never got burned before in this whole game. Get out of here. Oh, well. <laughs> we gotta level up for that. Chuh, that's a total loss on my part. This guy's just unsinkable. Wow, you have a lot of badges. No wonder you're so tough. I wonder if Ecritik Jim's Morty is still in training. You really hammered me. Wow, how'd you get all the way over here if you couldn't beat Morty? He blocked off my progress. Actually, that's not true. Is it? Wait. Because you you could get here without sir Oh, no, you can't. You have to beat the Red Gyarados. Oh, yeah, an Ultra Ball. <laughs> Just hanging out here in the, in, the, in the grass. Hey, did you know there was an Ultra Ball over there? Ah, can't make me lose a Poliwag. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. What are you going to do about it? Fight me? Yeah, I'm going to fight you. Uh-oh. Me and my big mouth. <laughs> it's Fisherman Wilton. Okay, Arachne. Now you get to use your most powerful attack. Is it like 90 power or something? It's something crazy. Like, very very few of my Pokemon have a 90 power move. Is 
It's a shame. I wish poison was more effective against more Pokemon, but they're like like steel types just are immune to it. So like the new generation just made poison way weaker than it used to be. Uh oh. Wow. You use the. Sea King is not very smart. It used the like low health attack at full health. I don't know what you expected would happen. It must be weird to be s speed tied with an Ariados. She only has 40 speed. Oh, I feel so bad for Rag. Just forget about it. That polywag that got away, it was huge! I swear, it must have been 16 feet. Oh, of course, this is the guy who wants to have a rematch. Oh, you're pretty tough. Could I get your phone number? Probably for a rematch. Phone doesn't have enough memory for more numbers. Oh, uh, easy, easy fix to that. We'll get rid of, uh, Hiker Anthony. Anthony! We'll get rid of him, because he's got- he'll have the weakest Pokémon in all the bunch. He'll be the worst rematch. He is registered. Wilton's phone number! <clears throat> I'm never quite ready to sing that high. Oh, yeah. And Arachne leveled up so we can move her out with the first slot. Guy with green lipstick. Do you know about the legendary bird Pokemon? Birdkeeper Vance. Oh, I've met your daughter, Alex. She's a uh, she's an inspiring resistance fighter. Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto's like Pidgeotto's really aggressive. I was hoping he would have something else. Maybe Pidgeot? Pidgeot? I kind of want to pronounce- Pidgeot, the spelling makes me kind of want to pronounce it Pidgeot. That also feels kind of like you're being mean, like calling it an idiot. Pidgeot. You Pidgeot! Hey, this guy's got a Pidgeot! Ooh, you're hot stuff. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres are the three legendary bird Pokémon. Here, there are other legendary birds, though. Oh, this guy wants my phone number, too? Your phone doesn't have enough memory. Okay, well, let's, let's get rid of somebody else. Who... I want to say Ernie is the next guy that I added to the list. Where's last Dana? No, Dana is on, um... The route that goes west out of Ecrotik, I think, so it's gotta be Arnie, Bugcatcher. Bugcatcher Arnie, get out of here. Get out of here, Bugcatcher Arnie. He is registered. That's his phone number. Okay. Here we go. Ah, oh, good. I was worried that it would be dark in here. So, the ice puzzles in here definitely frustrated people. Um, I remember not having too much trouble with them, though. And especially as, as an adult, I feel like they're not too hard. Well, look out. It's a Zubit. Okay, I'm gonna put Conifer in first so that we can run away more easily. Because him's fast. Boomst is my fastest Pokemon. We got 75, 40, 56, 59. Whoa, Rosencrantz is my only Pokemon with three digit stats. Wow. Okay. So yeah, Rosencrantz is my fastest, but I'll put Conifer out first. Because he's also lower level. I really like this cave music as well. <gasps> Swinub! Uh, let's try to catch Swinub. I don't think we can catch Swinub. <laughs> uh, I'll, I, 
Dang it. I really, this is why I really need to have Mulan the second or Pokemon with false swipe in its moveset, because otherwise, like, any Pokemon I have is going to be too, it's just going to knock out any wild Pokemon immediately. Dang. Like that rock, you see that rock? That, that lone rock looks like it should have an item in it. I don't know, I guess it doesn't. Let's check in anyway. Maybe the item finder doesn't... No, nope, no item. Okay. Well. It's about time to end the stream, so I'm gonna dig out of here. Okay, Pete, it's time to dig out of here. Time to end the stream. So, uh, thank y'all for joining me. This is a real delight. Uh, I actually might be free this Saturday to do another stream, so we'll see. Keep an eye out on my, uh, socials for that. Uh, basically Mastodon. I do have a Blue Sky account, but I don't really use it very much. I don't use it much outside of announcing when the stream happens, so... Look for me on Masto, and I will, uh, post there if I decide to stream tomorrow. Not tomorrow, it's so Saturday. I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything tomorrow. Uh, on stream. But, yeah, otherwise, uh, yeah, actually, Saturday I might, I still have a Mareep, so I might do, like, another egg hatching stream on Saturday. Uh, but we'll go, we'll be in silver doing egg, egg hatching. So, otherwise, we're gonna actually go through the ice path on Saturday, on Monday, excuse me. On Monday, we're going through the ice path, so don't miss it. Sure you catch that one. So thank you all again for joining me. Uh, until next time, I'll be seeing you.